Hey guys, in this one, I wanna show you how to use Grammarly on Android smartphones. I'm gonna show you how to get Grammarly, download it, and then all of the features that you can get in the free version of Grammarly. Let's get into the phone and I'll show you how to do it. So first thing you need to do is download the Grammarly app and it should look like this. So you can just go to the app store, type in Grammarly. This is the app that you want. As you can see, it is already on my phone, so I don't need to download it, but that's the app you want. Make sure it's downloaded, then just enter the app to start setting it up. Press on this icon down here, get started, and it will help you sign in to a new account. You can set up an account on Grammarly with your email if you want, or you can just go straight in with your Google account, which will already be logged in because you'll have the Play Store on your phone and you'll have your Google account logged in already. So I'll just sign in with my Google account, press that and it will log in with Grammarly and then we can move on to the next step. It may ask you to basically go premium and buy the pro version. If you do that, you do get some extra features. But in the free version, you do get this fixed grammar and spelling option. So I'm not gonna pay the annual fee. So you can just press X there and then move on to the next step. Then you have to add Grammarly keyboard to the keyboards that you use with your phone. So press this option. You may have some different options here depending on which Android device that you have. But the important thing is to come down to Grammarly right here and then just turn it on. You may also get this message. It basically says that what you type may be sent over to Grammarly and they may use and process that data. Obviously for Grammarly to work, it needs to know what you're typing. So if you wanna use Grammarly, you're gonna to have to choose activate on this one. Then you can just go back to manage keyboards. This should then take you back to the Grammarly app so we can switch input methods right here. So right now I'm using Gboard on my phone, just the stock keyboard that anyone will use with Android. But yeah, let's switch it to the Grammarly keyboard. You then should be able to choose between light theme and dark theme. I'm okay with the light theme, but you can very easily switch it as you can see. Do you want a number row? I do want a number row on mine. I think it's just easier like that, but you can switch this on and off to either have the numbers at the top of the keyboard or not. You can then choose if you want keyboarders, which is essentially just going around each of the letters and numbers to make it stand out a little bit. Again, this is just a personal preference. I'm gonna turn it on. Then I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna continue with the light theme. As you can see, you can now use the Grammarly keyboard in any of the apps that you use keyboards in, and it should help you and start fixing spelling and grammar. So I'm gonna press done on this one. Now there are a few extra options that you can go through if you want to set up Grammarly. So let's go to keyboard customization. You can add a different language to Grammarly if you want. You can click on this option, click on add language. And it's not an extensive list of languages, but there's certainly a lot in there. If your language is in here, you can certainly use that with Grammarly. Just gonna come out of these options. You can then come down here and choose the height of the keyboard tall, short, or normal, but you can also change this when you're looking at the keyboard, depending on which app you're in. Then you can come down and choose whether you want to vibrate on key press and have any sounds. You can just set that up as you want. Grammarly settings is also important. So one of the things I turn off actually is swipe to type. This is when you swipe around the keyboard and it will type something. I don't like this, so I'm usually turning that one off. Other than that, I'm happy with all of the other settings in Grammarly. For example, double tap to space and put a period after a word. I like that, it's easy. Also, you can change the language preference down here. I have British English, but depending on where you're from, you can choose the one that's right for you. That's really it though. And now we're gonna to go to just a notes app and I'll show you how it actually works. So I can just swipe through and write some notes. And as you can see, when the keyboard comes up, this is now Grammarly keyboard. As you start typing, what happens is essentially Grammarly will see what you're typing and at the top, give you some suggestions, maybe some synonyms you can see here. So instead of going, you have some synonyms, maybe getting on, taking off, leaving, running. So these are all suggestions that Grammarly is going to give you when you start typing text. As you can see here, I've made a mistake on purpose. I said, I'm going to get on train. You can see Grammarly has seen that I've made a mistake. It comes up straight away after it recognized that I left out the word the between on and train. And so it tells me, hey, you made a mistake here. We think you should add the in between. So what I can do literally is just press on this right now and it will add it in, make the change for me. It will then continue to scan all of your text, see if you made any simple grammatical errors and also just give you some suggestions of different words that you can use. So it's really easy to use, quite good and definitely can just give you some more suggestions when you are writing text.
If you want to take Grammarly off and you don't want to use it anymore, then come out of the app, go over to your settings app, and then in the search bar, just go keyboards like this, find out all the keyboards that you're using. So I've typed keyboard here, then come down to current keyboards, as you can see here. So you can press current keyboard, then come up here to current keyboard. We're using Grammarly right now, but you can press on this, switch it back to Gboard or whatever other keyboard that you're using. And now you won't be using Grammarly on your phone, but you can switch between them really easily. And as you can see, when you're not using Grammarly, you can go into the Grammarly app and then you can just switch back to it or go through your settings page as normal. If the video is helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.